Um, my name is Victor Anota. Um, I'm a consultant in emergency medicine. Um, on top of that, I also happen to be the chair of the Black, uh, Asian and Ethnic Minority Group or Network in the Trust. I've worked in Medway Maritime Hospital for just about three years now. Um, I enjoy uh, so many aspects of my work, but I found spending time with staff that we rarely see. I'm talking of staff who work in the domestic departments, people who work like, a, uh, call them a, um, in the pottery, people that you hardly see, I mean, in the, in the front uh, area. I've, I mean, I found them quite uh, interesting, spending time with them, asking them questions, finding out how they are getting on. And I, I'm, I'm, I mean, honestly, challenged by their sense of dedication and how committed they are. And I just felt, okay, these are the voices that okay, you hardly come across. And I, I, I enjoy spending time with them on, on, the, on, on the show floor. Um, let me say I'm originally from Nigeria. And that is why I mean, so I'm from Africa. Um, in Nigeria is a very diverse uh, country. You hear people talking about uh, probably Nigeria has over 250 ethnic uh, groups with I mean, different languages. Um, that is quite uh, I mean, interesting to, for people to, I mean, to hear. Um, and because of that, it's a very rich culture. If you talk of people from the southwest, from where I am from, the Yorubas. We have our unique culture, traditionals. If you talk of people from the from the eastern part of the country, the Igbos, I mean, those are the main ethnic group there. They have culture that okay that are different from us. And if you move towards the north, we talk of the Alsas, the Fulanis. It's also a different kind of culture. So the country is very rich, and you can tell by people talking to you or mingling with them which part of the country they are from, and then you definitely have something to learn from all this. Uh, segment, this section of the, of the country. I enjoy the fried rice with a plantain and with chicken. Yeah, um, I can eat it. I mean, three times a day. I'm, I'm only joking, but it's a very, very nice food. It's very rich. Um, quite, I mean, it's quite traditional. Um, with a bit of spicy, I mean, nature into it. I enjoy eating it. And it's because it's very easy. I can cook it. Uh, but um, I mean, uh, any, there's no occasion that you go to when you hear people gathering from Africa having a wedding or uh, naming ceremony. So it's a very, 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 very popular uh, ditch that you find among the uh, black community. The black history, essentially, to me, is an opportunity for people of black heritage to come together to celebrate I mean their contributions I mean to I mean, reflect on the journey I'm here today standing but I know there are people that have gone ahead of me who have done certain things and those people have to be honored uh, so black history month is an opportunity for people from different back background not just black to come together uh, see what are the contributions that people that have gone ahead of us have made, what can we learn from them, what are the challenges that they have had to put up with, what are the, I mean, I mean we still have a lot of work to do, the journey is still a long one, and so to me, Black History Month is about celebrating the diversity of the people from Black or, uh, background and also to look at what are the challenges. So my name is Sadia. Uh, my job title currently is um, uh, Interim Service Manager in Theatres. Um, I'm actually on the Graduate Management Scheme. So this placement that I'm in has just started, to, it's just been about two months. Um, at Medway, I've been here for, I would say, about a year and a half now. Um, I would say the thing that I enjoy the most is, uh, I guess, the staff and the people that I get to work with. Um, I feel like everyone is very helpful and in particular because I'm on the graduate management scheme I feel like everyone wants to help me um, and on top of that I've, I really enjoy interacting with patients and just seeing what changes can be made and how they can benefit the community. So 
originally um, from Pakistan. Uh, I was born here, but my family are from Pakistan. Um, a bit about my country that I'm from. Um, I would say the thing that stands out to me most about the country that I'm from is the food. Um, I enjoy Pakistani food a lot um, because I feel like it's really flavorful and it's, it's quite um, yeah, it's quite flavorful and just nice and quite vibrant. Um, and um, I like the clothes from my, my country too. I feel like um, we wear a lot of colorful clothes that are quite different. Um, yeah, all the things, the food and the clothes. Food that I enjoy the most, um, I would say um, kebabs. Uh, I like them the most. Um, you can get different kebabs from different cultures, and you know, like Turkish kebabs, Pakistani. Um, but I really enjoy kebabs gen in general. I just like having spicy food. So any food that I have, because of where I'm from, I'm just used to having spicy food. So I always like to add chili sauce or extra spices in all my food. So yeah, anything spicy I would like. Uh, yeah, so Black History Month, um, I think it's a really good time because um, it's a time where everyone reflects um, on different cultures and how far we've come or different hurdles different cultures have had to face to come to the point that we are in. Um, and if you look back in the past, I don't think where we were, different cultures, where different cultures were to, to the point that we've come to now, it's, it's worth celebrating to see how far we've come. Um, and how you've mentioned, it's not just about a particular culture it's about everyone coming together so I think it is a really good time to celebrate and for everyone to come together and to feel like we're all kind of one and it doesn't matter what background or what country you're from that we're all just one yeah my name is Timmy Alao I'm HR business partner for plant care and some corporate areas and I have been a medway now for a bit over two years I think for me, um, wanting to always remember that there's a human in front of the resources, I think working with people, and I know that we talk a lot about financial targets and constitutional targets, but for me, it's the people target, because if we get the people right, we get everything right. So my background is, I'm Nigerian by origin, I come from a state called Lagos State, which it seems like everybody from Nigeria comes from, it's Yoruba, and um, I speak Yoruba fluently, um, hoping that my kids can speak Yoruba or will want to speak Yoruba, but what makes it unique is, um, I think you have Yorubas everywhere in the world, and they're quite lovely delicacies, even in the UK that I eat. Um, that are made by people from Nigeria, from Yoruba. So I love Amala and Wegiri. Anyway, do it's a delicacy that is eaten by Nigerians, um, people particularly from the Yoruba um, ethnic ethnic group. And um, I have been able to eat really good ones. Actually, I didn't even eat it whilst in Nigeria, but now that I've been in the UK, there's been really beautiful ones being made. Um, I can't make it myself. But it's always nice to go to a nice restaurant and have it. You, you know, have not having to do the work but eat the food. So yes. So um a black instrument to me means a lot of things and I think particularly when you think about why Black History Month was created. Um, it's really to help support and educate, you know, white colleagues around what this is. But I think predominantly is for all of us to learn about cultures, to grow, um, to evolve. And I think for me particularly celebrating this this year, it's around how do we as an organization also become compassionate and inclusive. So it's about all of us together learning. There is a lot to learn, but also people do not want to talk about race. Um, and there's, it's not difficult to talk about. I think it's important to continue to have those conversations. And that's the way we would all learn and grow and evolve. There is a lot more to still be done. And I guess that if we start to have the conversation, continue to have the conversations, that's the way we will become more comfortable with having those conversations. Okay, so my name is Diane Sobers, or Alexandra Diane Sobers. Um, I've worked at Medway since November of 2020, um, and I'm the medical records manager. 
my staff. They are amazing, they're dedicated. I have members of staff who have been part of medical records for over 25 years, near, dear, and they're very dedicated to this trust. I enjoy the people most of all. Ah, well, I'm from Trinidad and Tobago. Um, we're, uh, right, we're neighbors of South America. We're close to Venezuela. Um, lots of beaches, lots, well, good, good weather throughout the year. We're summer throughout the year. It's a twin island republic, 12 minute flight from Trinidad to Tobago. Um, Tobago's airport is actually on the beach. Um, I behave very naughtily when I arrive in Tobago. I leave my luggage in the airport, have my sea bath, and then go back for my luggage. Um, Tobago is really pretty. It's a, one of the gems of the Caribbean. And we are located very close to South America. And we're the southernest, most, most southerly island. And we don't get hurricanes. We start it and send it up the chain. So we don't get affected by hurricanes as such. We are one of the few Caribbean countries that has oil. Um, and we're, we're a happy bunch of people. Um, we're close to Barbados and from my name, my surname, Sobers, I do claim, that's my claim to fame, to Sir Garfield Sobers. It's not a very popular name, so I hereby declare myself related to Garfield Sobers. As far as food is concerned, that's part of the festivities. Um, because we have so many races in Trinidad, due to indentured um, labor, slavery, etc. Um, we have the French, we're Spanish, we're British, we're folks from India, and we celebrate everything. So we're one of the countries with one of the most holiday, holiday, number of holidays in a year. So we're always relaxed. <laughs> um, Food-wise, all those foods are influenced and we, of course, we personalize it. So for the for the blacks, for example, we have something called pilau. It's chicken, rice, and peas all mixed in. We call it a one pot. For Indians, we have a snack called doubles. It's a vegetarian snack, and it's a food, a street food. Absolutely delicious. And the other Indian food that I absolutely love is chicken rotis, any version of it. Chicken, beef, fish, rotis. And we're big on that. French and Spanish foods also. We just love eating and we, <laughs> we enjoy each other and appreciate and respect each other. The importance of it is just, I think, just appreciating each other. Um, BAME in itself, it's, I interpret it as everybody who's non-British, so it's all the immigrants basically who have been here. Even if you were born here, your parents you know, in, migrated to the UK. The UK is considered the motherland to so many, and it's just a melting pot, and it's, it's just a matter of celebrating differences and being equal even though we're different. Respect it, embrace it, res and enjoy it. Hey, my name is um, Helen Benigier, and I am a neonatal consultant. I work with babies. Um, and their families basically and um, I have worked at Metway for about four to, four to five years. So I think I, I particularly like the diversity, you know, coming in and seeing different people from different countries, different colours, different continents, yeah. It just kind of makes it quite simple, quite universal, like everybody, you know, can work here. Um, so originally, I my parents are from Nigeria, and that is in West Africa. Yep. Um, yeah, basically, and um, my country is quite unique. Um, oh God, if you're talking about diversity, that is where it is. You have we have over 500 languages, almost the same amount, if not more, ethnic ethnic groups. So it's quite unique. And again, the food is amazing. I'm sure lots of people have heard about Jello Fries. That's one of our staples. It's great. I know that there are other West African countries like Ghana that have, you know, you have the Ghanaian Jello Fries, but the Nigerian one is unique. The taste is different. It is amazing. Um, I'm 
sure you think I'll say jello fries, but not really. Um, have something else I kind of really like. So the part of the country that I am from, that's the Midwestern part of Nigeria. So the staple or the native food there is pounded yam. And that is yam. There's a way, the same way you'll make rice flour, you know, but this is, you're going to cook yam and then pound it in a mortar and then the soup, you know, the egg soup. So this is melon soup with some vegetables and all sorts of meat. I've sorted meat. It tastes really, really good. You should try it. <laughs> I guess it's the time to celebrate unique black leaders or brown colored. I don't particularly think black. I think brown, you know, leaders that have contributed immensely to humanity.